Moodle Workplace Catalogue The Learning Catalogue, known for short as Catalogue, in the Primary Navigation and Launcher, is a new enhancement that completely revamps the course search functionality in Moodle LMS. It transforms the course discovery experience, allowing users to explore the available learning options and find courses that suit their requirements. Administrators can easily customise the catalogue to suit their needs, configuring fields and aesthetics, while also making it public for external users to preview courses. Developers benefit from simplified extension and customization options for creating bespoke layouts. The catalogue is disabled by default. Administrators can enable it from Site Administration, Learning, Default Settings, Learning Catalogue Settings, or from the Workplace Launcher by clicking the Catalogue icon. Here, the admin can select their preferred settings including the course search method. If this has been set to extended search, you can specify which course fields should be included in the search and arrange them in the order of priority. There are two pages. Main page, which is the main view when navigating to the catalogue. It shows all courses available to the current user. Results page. This is the page displayed once a category has been selected or a search has been executed. The filter sidebar, if configured, displayed on the left, lets you narrow down the course search. So from the main page we see a category selector drop down. This lets you choose a single category or subcategory and once selected the results page will be displayed. The number of category levels shown can be specified in the learning catalogue settings. The catalogue search bar. This lets you narrow down the search using Moodle standard search operators and once executed, the results page will be displayed. The course cards. These show details about each course. The attributes displayed depend on the learning catalogue settings. And pagination. This will show up if the number of courses exceeds the number specified in the learning catalogue settings and the page navigation is shown at the bottom of the catalogue. The results page includes the category selector drop-down as with the main page, the catalogue search bar as with the main page, and course cards list view. These will show details about each course. The attributes shown depend on the learning catalogue settings and can differ from the card view which is found on the main page. The filters area. This showcases a space with elements to narrow your search. The filters available can be configured in the catalogue settings as well. And these filters will show up to five elements per type and a show more link that lets users display more. It includes tag filters. If any of the shown results contain any course tags, these will be available for selection. User defined course fields filter. If any of the shown results contain any course user defined course fields, these will be available for selection. And this is configurable through the learning catalogue settings as well. A subcategory filter. If the courses displayed are spread across multiple courses, or the selected category contains subcategories, these will be available for selection. Now by default, the learning catalogue is only available to logged in users, but it can be configured to display publicly by changing a few settings. And for more information on this, please refer to our documentation. Regarding the learning catalogue with multi-tenancy, the learning catalogue shows all courses available to the current user and fully respects multi-tenancy permissions granted throughout Moodle Workplace. To summarise, the learning catalogue transforms the course discovery experience, allowing users to explore the available learning options and find courses that suit their requirements.